Hello, my friends, welcome back to the channel. All is with Yunus Shaferi. In the previous video, we saw how to use Activity Result Contract API in the View system. And in this video, we are going to see how to use the same API but in Jetpack Compose. Let's get started. So, here I'm having pretty simple Jetpack Compose projects, like we used that before in the rule database, if you remember, but never mind. So, here we are going to use the Activity Result Contract API. With this API, well, you can do several things. First of all, let me just show it to you here. Here you have some, a class called Activity Result Contract. You can implement your own. We saw that previously, and you can use one of the following thing. There is Start Activity for Result. If you already know, like if you know the activity that you are going to send the request to and the receive the data, you can use that. And there is some generic thing like creating a document, opening a document, picking a contact, and so on. I said there is this get content. Maybe let's let's try this get content and create document or I don't know, there is contact. I want something so we can see it. There is contact, I think. Pick contact, yeah, there is this pick contact. So the previous way with normal view system, it's simply you have to register that thing. So we do something like that. I would call it lasher, right? And here we do register activity result, and here we simply pass the activity contract. It can be your own or the already implemented. So he simply can do something like the following. Let's say get content, for example, create an S object. If you go here, you will see what needs to be implemented. You will see that creation of the intent and of course the parsing of the result. So this is abstracting all the previous normal thing about intent and everything, right? And here you receive the lasher here. So we are registering that uh, lasher at the beginning and then we can call it somehow, but it composes it a little bit different. So you launch it with the string and you can see. So the input will be a MIME type. So it is an image of, let's say JPEG, something like that. That would work, but we are not going to do it that way. What we are going to do is let's pretend we have something called content picker. For example, this would be a composable function we're going to create like that. And yeah, it would be composable, something like that. And here, let's simply create a button. We'll do the on click in a minute and contain the text. And here, simply in the text, we'll say pick content or pick an image because you are going to use an image. Now, the previous way registering this here, we will just register it here at the level of this composable function. We will do it with normal remember stuff. Like there is a meme about this Jetpack composing, all the problem in Jetpack compose can be solved by remembering something. Yeah, so here we are going to remember something. What we are going to remember is a lasher, okay? Lasher for activities. So here we will pass the contract here. So the contract I told you about earlier, which is activity contract, and you can pass everything here, or your own core contract, because sometimes we create our custom contracts. So here I'm going to check get content, and here, put simply, here you will have the result. It will be in URI, so you can do something with it. And from that point, what I can do, well, basically you have to save this somehow. And here in the launcher box, you do launcher, when the user click, and you do launch. Okay, it will be just the same, exactly the same, you pass the MIME type. The MIME type is simply uh, the type of the file and the extension you expect. So for example, if I want an image, I will do that image. And I need to specify the extension. If I want any image, I can do this thing. If I want specific image, I can do PNG, for example, or JPEG, for example, or any image, right? This applies same for, audio if you want mp3 m4a or something else and also video I think. so this is the mic now if you go here like how do you know that if you go to get content here you will see the input as here like this if you press Control q for example the input is the mic type of the filter by like image for example this one. so this is the mic so that way you are ready to launch this yeah let me just here as how something which is the uri so here, let's put just the bottom into a column and let's go for it. So here we have our app right here. As you can see, here's the button. Uh, we are not concerned with the UI here. We are just trying to see uh, the result. You can click on that. We will see images. As you can see, we are only seeing images. And this JPEG, when we will see if you can do PNG in order to check this MIME type. When you click here on this image, you will see the URI here. As you can see, it is working perfectly fine. You can create the same thing, like you can just swap. I will just uh, change it. Contact picker, well, typo, something like that. And here you will simply call pick contact like that. You get also problem, you get also URI. And here in the input, I don't think we should pass anything. It's like just pick contact, let's check. 
it is void in here, so it is malleable void, so we can pass not. And yeah, just click contact. It is just the same, even if you try to use your own uh, start from activity thing, you can use it differently. So here, if you run it again, you see pick contact, but if you click on it, we have no contact to choose from. So here, let's create some contact. Contact here, create a new contact. Hola, save. You will see that. And then we can go back to our app. So here is our app. If you click on pick contact, you will see Hola. If you click on it, we must see that in the lock. Okay, here you go. Here is the contact. So this is it for this video. I think you got the idea. So basically, it's just the same. It's just knowing about this function. And basically, you can use any activity result contract. If you do the start activity for result, you basically get here not an UI, of course, but the activity result. So you can check the data and the result card if you want so. Okay, so this will work with any activity that provides some kind of result. So this is it for this video. I hope this video was usable for you. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as always and see you in the next videos. Bye.